Good morning, everyone. Today is the 16th of April, 2024. Looks like it's going to be a pretty day. Today's a very exciting day. I'm glad the weather's going to be good. She's going to the shop here in about half an hour to drop off at my mechanic to get her new tires on, and then right next door to Midas for the front end alignment. So I'm very excited about that because once that's done, then I can really start enjoying driving this thing. I got some goodies too. I just wanted to show my, my tires in the trunk here. It's four of them. They've been here for about a month now. It's amazing how big these trunks are. Isn't that awesome? Plus the spare is still in there. So that's kind of cool. I also wanted to show I got some goodies in the mail yesterday. Starting to get the parts for my heater. You probably recognize this little doohickey here. The heater valve that was unique to 462 motors for 67 and 68 only. 66 had a different design and when the 460 came out a different design so i got that from uh what's it called cold air products inc on ebay i also bought a, a t here this is a 5 8 t all the way around to replace that y fitting that's kind of rotted out on mine i uh, have a special adapter hose that fits a um or what was it a uh, volkswagen I believe it's a Jetta and a Golf that has a 5 8 on one side and 7 16 on the other side. The 7 16 is designed to fit this part on this, uh, this heater valve. So that's cool because I couldn't find a, a, an adapter like this that had a 7 16 side to it. So that's why I did that. I also wanted to show that I received my replacement uh, windshield washer bag from Old Car Clarence on eBay. They kept their word, guaranteed their product, and even gave me back my return postage. So that's nice. I am not going to put that on though until I, the front end alignment is done, since that might uh, they might disturb it there. So anyway, very exciting day. Hope it all goes well. All right, there she sits, backed into her spot at my mechanic shop. Let's see what she looks like when she has her new shoes on later. Shamrock Automotive, that's my mechanic's place. Bob Shamrock is the proprietor. All right, folks, it's 10.30 in the morning. I'm actually walking from my doctor appointment, my eye appointment, back to my mechanic. You can see I'm walking like I always do. It's a nice day out, so I haven't heard from my mechanic yet, so I have no idea if the car is ready or what stage it's in. But it's a nice day to be out anyway. We'll find out soon. It's about a 25-minute walk, I think. All right, I just uh, heard from my mechanic that uh, the car is already at Midas getting the alignment, so I'm going to walk over there, which is right next door, and see if she's still on the rack, see what's going on. Fun day. Very exciting. Oh, I wonder if it's already done or if it's been in. There she sits. The new tires are on her. Let's go take a look. Oh, they look nice. Just got to clean the uh, clean the white walls, the blue off the white walls. Get get the uh, wheel covers on. All right, looking good, looking good. Let me go inside and see if they still need to align it or not. I wasn't prepared for my car to move. <laughs> Getting her in the rack, trying to. You know how it is to to move these boats. <laughs> He's got her in second gear, but that's okay. He doesn't know. <laughs> Going on the rack for her alignment. I think they're already done, folks. Coming out of the bay. Yeah, the first lights are on. And out she comes. Okay. It's going to be exciting driving this thing home. Didn't realize they'd be taking it for a test drive. Pretty cool. Maybe he's just taking it to my mechanic next door. I understand I'm going to be paying my mechanic for everything in one place. 
place. Looking good, looking good. All right, I see you're coming down Route 40 here in Elkton, Maryland. Just a minute, need to make a new turn down there. mics on right now so hopefully you can hear me okay I've gotten my car back now from the uh, front end alignment and the new tires and um, she's doing pretty good except for one rather large item which is kind of important I think the uh, steering gear is out of whack out of adjustment I think the sector gear shaft or the sector shaft needs to be adjusted my mechanic agrees so I'm still I got some errands to run this afternoon so I'm doing those first but the symptoms that I run into is um, when you touch the steering wheel, it kind of wants to jerk, you know, kind of wants to quickly move right or left rather than, uh, you know, gently, easily moving like it should. I, I knew this before, but I thought it was something to do with the alignment or the old tires, but it, that symptom is still there. In fact, they were, the mechanics were concerned about it. They think that's kind of dangerous, but my uh, my mechanic buddy thinks that uh, it's probably and like I think it's probably just the uh, the sector shaft on the steer steering gear needs to be adjusted he suggested I uh, undo the lock nut and then screw the screw in all the way and then back it out one turn and start driving it and see how it does and go from there I know it's not the bushings on the steering gear either because I replaced it with solid bushings from uh, one of the suppliers uh, aftermarket parts. I forget who it was right now, but several people sell them. Uh, and I know the steering column is tight, and I know the front end is tight. And the uh, front end guy said, yeah, the front end is tight, and everything is good there. So, go straight down the road. So, we'll get there eventually. So, right now, I'm just enjoying it, driving it a little bit, do my errands. <coughs> and then when I get back home, I will uh, work on that steering gear, do some adjusting. I hope that's all it is, because I don't know what else it possibly could be. Hey guys, man, it is a beautiful day today. I've been having a ball with my baby today. I put about 25 miles on her probably. She is running like a top, just running so well. Had her up to 72. Wasn't really trying, and she just wants to go. Stretch her legs, and I hadn't seen that red on one of these uh, speedometers in at least a dozen years, so that, that was special, but just having a ball. Um, however, I do need to adjust that steering gear. I'm pretty sure that's all it is. I, I, there's really nothing else it could be, the way it's uh, kind of you know, not reacting like it should when you adjust the steering wheel. I'm pretty sure I just need to adjust the sector shaft. So I'm going to work on that. And then i got to wash the blue off the white walls, put my wheel covers back on, install my spare tire where it belongs in the trunk, and uh, then maybe she'll be ready for some serious driving. But I'm just having ball. Something I'm always uh, glad to see is the lack of any leaks. Every time I drive it, especially over a distance like I did today, really got her up to speed, got her hot, you know, got her warm. I check and I see no leaks whatsoever, no water leaks, no smoking. She's doing great. So see how that oil leak was. Didn't realize I had cut myself off. Anyway, I don't see any evidence really of fresh oil leaking, so that's a good sign. Uh, I was pointing out the other adjustment where is it there it is uh, I'm going to uh, loosen that um, that lock nut and screw it in all the way and back off one turn for my mechanics instructions and then just go from there drive it see how she does needs further adjustment I'll loosen it some more and keep going until it feels right all right change of plans I'm not going to try and make this adjustment right now because it's hot this engine is hot exhaust manifold the engine block it's hot and I got to get down there with my bare hands and uh, you know, use a wrench and a screwdriver at the same time. Now I'm going to have to wait for it to cool down before I start messing around with that. So instead, all right, I'm about to install my first wheel cover using the three-point method. I have three arms. I could do it with three arms, but I don't. I find that the, this style hubcap, I just can't do it with two hands. So I use one foot and two hands, and it works out pretty well. I'm amazed that this wheel cover still has the original Ford Motor Company paper sticker on the back of it. That's pretty amazing. So I use, uh, I've already got my little uh, chrome extension on here on the valve stem. Those are all new, of course. New wheel weight. 
So I had to set this in place. Oh wow, I just noticed that this wheel cover is a little bit damaged. So I've got four more that are the same style. I think I'm going to go find a better one than that. So let's get another one here. Yeah, this one's a little bit beat up too. Now that I can be choosy, I guess I should have done this while I was still in the shed. And I guess they all have a little bit of damage to them. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. So I got it started. I have to hold it one in with my foot. And then my hand. And then the third point is the rubber mallet. And that's how I'm able to install these babies. Then, of course, the next thing will be to clean the white wall. I use uh, old-fashioned Brillo pads along with some... Uh, Bleach white tire cleaner to get things started. Let me go find a couple of other wheel covers. All right, folks. Unfortunately, I broke my uh, little remote transmitter for the other microphone I've been using that has the much better sound pickup, so it's a little weak again. You may have to turn up the volume to hear it. I'm going to have to replace that, so sorry about that. My own fault. So got all the wheel covers on now, so I'm just going to start. Just showing how I do a quick tire clean here. Unfortunately, I uh, I damaged my little transmitter for the other microphones I was using, so it's quieter again. You're going to have to turn up the volume probably to hear this until I get those replaced. Sorry about that. I wasn't real happy about it myself, but it happened. Just the, uh, the wind or whatever just knocked my tripod over. I need to be more careful about leaving my phone in that tripod when I'm not there to watch it. But <coughs> anyway, bleach white. This is great for black walls or white walls. I've been using that forever, for decades and decades. I'm sure it's been around probably since the 50s. But I use a, a Brillo pad too to actually scrub the uh, the white walls after I've sprayed the bleach right on it. That stuff works really well. I mean the Brillo pad in combination with the um, in combination with the bleach white works really well. I've always found for the year, through the years I read somewhere online one time that someone said brake fluid, but I don't want to put brake fluid on my tires just to clean the white walls. That seems a bit harsh to me. Okay, clean here. A little rinse. There we go, much better. I'll tell you, when I'm down here, I look at trim like this and I realize, man, I, I need just about every piece of trim that exists for this car. Everything is damaged, but uh, the body work, that's a whole nother project. All right, folks, this is my wrap up video. It was a very good day. I uh, have my new tires on there, front end alignment done. Just finished cleaning the tires. The white walls are white now. Put my wheel covers back on. The best I have out of the eight that I have, I picked the four best. So it looks really good. I'm very pleased. I drove the car about 25 miles today and enjoyed the hell out of it. I think I got left to do is get a little bit of residue off there from tape. There was a sticker on there from the person I bought it from. Um, I wasn't able to get the sector shaft adjusted today just because it was so hot and under, under the hood and I'm out of steam now. So I will hit that the next opportunity I have later in the week. Have a good evening.